everybody. My name is Paul Emmerich France. I'm a National Board Certified Teacher and the author of two books, Reclaiming Personalized Learning and now Humanizing Distance Learning, Centering Equity and Humanity in Times of Crisis. I want to talk to you today a little bit about why I chose to write this book. I wrote this book for two reasons. First of all, as a provocation. In the opening pages of the book, I posed the question, in some ways, shouldn't we always be teaching from a distance? In fact, I believe that part of the reason distance learning has been so challenging for so many is because so many are trying to replicate practices that weren't working in the first place. Paternalistic practices that cause us to hover over our students. Practices that operate in opposition to student independence. And that brings me to the second reason I chose to write the book. It's a call to action for teachers. While we're currently going through quite a challenging time, it also provides us an opportunity to reflect on what wasn't working. You know, the definition of equity is that all students are getting what they need in our classrooms. And the fact of the matter is, our education system wasn't built for all students to succeed, specifically black, brown, and LGBTQ plus students. The pandemic has pronounced these inequities, and now we have an opportunity to change our education system for the better by centering equity and our students' humanity in our classrooms for the foreseeable future. You might wonder what that looks like, and while I think there are lots of different answers to that question, these are a few of the solutions I pose in the book. First, we can deindustrialize our curriculum, moving away from worksheets and rote activities, and towards journaling and complex instruction, both of which empower students to be independent and liberated thinkers. Second, we can intensify socio-emotional learning in our classrooms, and it goes without saying that our students are carrying a great deal of trauma with them through this unprecedented time, and we must be willing and able to center their feelings and experiences as they weather this storm. And finally, we must take a minimalist approach to education technology, only using it when it brings our classroom communities closer together, providing our students with the much needed socialization and human connection that they so desperately desire right now. If any of this resonates with you, I hope you'll read the book and share it with a friend. I truly believe that this moment in time offers us an opportunity for great change in education, and I hope you'll be a part of it.